Okay. So there's this, uh, this great fluid effect. Isn't this wonderful? Wherever you move the cursor, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. It's um, as easy as adding uh, just a few lines to your scene to get this effect. Thanks to this developer, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name, his repository, React Fluid Distortion, makes it super easy to add this. So let's walk through adding it. I've created a course, The Basics of 3JS. Check it out. Let's get to the start position first. Get check out start yarn and yarn dev. Okay, great. Here's our starting position. This is a template project. You can go to my GitHub and download this template project from GitHub repositories and just type in a template. Yeah, here it is. Check out React 3 Fiber Template. This is the starting place. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> According to the React Fluid Distortion repo, what we want to do is install this package as well as the supporting packages, which is dr um, dry, which I already have installed in the template, but also these post processing and Leva packages. So let's just copy this, come over to our terminal, and instead of npm install, by the way, type control A to jump to the top of the re most recent command. Let's use yarn add and add all of those guys. All right. And let's look at our package JSON, see how it looks. Now we have Dre and post processing, React Fluid Distortion, and then these two more packages. It looks like the only changes. Um, let's import those guys so that we can use them. Let's import the effect. Import fluid and also use config. Now we need an effects composer to drop these into. So let's import that as well. Import effect composer from post-processing. Yeah, like that. Um, it's stunning how easy it is to incorporate these guys. And then close off the effects composer. Let's see, yarn dev. Yeah, so there, it already works. All I did was import those packages and then drop the drop these tags in to our app. That's it. You can also use a config. So const config there's equals use config. And then you can use that here. Config. I think that's how you do it. Equals dot, dot, dot config like that. I think it's not config. It's just this like that. And if I include that now I get this um, can this panel that I can adjust the settings of the effect. Stupidly simple, but really cool. If you're already building a project using React 3 Fiber, then this is a stupid simple solution. Just drop it in there and you're good to go. Play around with these, play around with these settings to get the effect that's interesting to you. Um, drop some different models in here. See how that looks. Try it with it without the background. A quick note that I found through playing with this effect, it doesn't work in every single repository. Here's my React 3 Fiber Earth repo, and I've added this component in here, and it's not working. Now, here it is again, recreated, and it works. So it's unclear to me what actually caused it to fail. It looks so good, but um, I'm not sure why it didn't work in every situation. Here's another repo. I also dropped it into my code art project and it looks great. So my message to you is use this, but be warned that it doesn't seem to work in every situation. Checking 
the repo for this. There is some issues, but the, I don't think this one is listed among them. And uh, it doesn't seem to be a lot of issue fixing going on. So yeah, I hope it works for you because it sure is cool when it does work. Thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one.